One of the amazing things about fog is how blinding it can be. You can be driving down the same road you've driven down a thousand times, and it's incredibly familiar to you, but when a deep, heavy fog hits, you'll crawl along with a death grip on the steering wheel because you can't see a thing. Sometimes life is that way too. We lose a job, a friend, a child, a dream. An unexpected circumstance sneaks up on us. A spouse is unfaithful. A pastor lets us down. Somebody we once trusted betrays us and all of a sudden we can't see anything but the problem. And we lose our perspective and maybe even our hope. In a chapter of my book, I tell the story of my oldest daughter, Jessica, and her husband, Nate. They had a miscarriage and then they struggled with infertility. And it was another one of those heart-wrenching experiences that completely devastated me for a time. I couldn't understand why something so hard had entered into our family again. Sometimes the fog of life can be so overwhelming. Sometimes it kills us not to know or understand the why behind every circumstance we face. Not too long ago, I did the funeral for a friend's son who was tragically killed by a drunk driver. Another couple I know and love has lost just about everything due to a bad financial decision made by a crooked business partner. I know a husband and a father who was struck down by a stroke and has changed everything in his life. Fog happens. And here's another reality, one we can fight or accept. On this side of eternity, there are a lot of things we'll probably never understand. For us, that's the test of the unforeseen. Will we trust God even when we don't understand? Will we fix our eyes on Him no matter what? I don't have any simple or pat answers to why my daughter and son-in-law lost their first baby in a miscarriage. But what I do know is that they have an adopted son today. His name is Caleb, and he's the apple of his grandfather's eye. And I also know now, in hindsight, that if they hadn't lost that first child, Caleb wouldn't be a part of our family today. The loss of one baby brought another one into our lives. I didn't see that coming. And that's why it's a good idea to remember, in the midst of the fog, God still has a plan. He's still working. And if we'll just hold on, we might be surprised once again by His epic grace.